So the question is, why do stories need conflict? Do they need conflict? Is the first question that comes to my mind. But I think that the reason I hadn't figured it out, and I think I have now, but I think the reason I hadn't is because the question needs to be worded differently. I don't think stories need conflict. So as I demonstrated when Diane told me to make a story and I told a very dull story, but it was a story nonetheless, it didn't need conflict to be a story. So a story doesn't need conflict to be a story, but you would say it needs conflict to be interesting. So the, the I think the best question, the, the more correct question is, why does a story need conflict to be interesting? First, let's just define what we mean by conflict, because the definition of conflict can be varied depending on who's asking. So, you know, conflict can mean arguments between two people. And I don't think that's what we're talking about. Conflict, I think, in terms of story conflict, I think means something a bit more general. Um, And I think you'd probably agree. Story conflict means anything that causes some sort of upheaval or some sort of chaos or some sort of stress in a person's life. That's conflict. So, you know, yeah, another word can be chaos or things that happen that suck (laughs) or hardship or something like that. Challenges, right? I think the best word would be chaos. Let's just say chaos, right? Because when everything's all fine and nice and normal, then it's not very interesting. But when there's some sort of chaos, it leads to all these sorts of things like arguments, drama, suffering, hardship, so on. So let's just say chaos, right? So the question now is why do stories need chaos to be interesting to someone who's listening to it or watching it or reading it? What do we get out of it by engaging in a story that has a character or, sorry, that has a person go through some sort of chaotic scenario? And you'll notice that I use the word person rather than character. Um, And then the reason why is because I like to bring it into real life when talking about stories, because then I think it's easier to understand. The best way to word the question which I'm going to answer is why do people find stories that have chaos in it interesting? That's the right question to ask. The answer to that question, I think, why we find chaos interesting is not the chaos itself. This is just what I think. I think it's what the chaos reveals to the people in the story but us as sort of second-hand observers, you know, we're being told about these people in stories and what happens to them, and we're just observers, you know. And, um, and I think that to the people in the story, just like in real life, when chaos happens, when, when we deal with conflict when we deal with challenging situations and hardship and stress and upheaval, it reveals things to us about life that we didn't see before. And I think that chaos reveals that because if there isn't upheaval, if people don't get stressed out, you don't see aspects to people that you wouldn't have seen before. Stress really reveals what people are like deep down. You don't see that otherwise. Stress really reveals what people are like in a good way and in a bad way. Stress reveals, well, challenges reveal the nature of life and our capabilities as people, how far we can go and where our limitations are. I mean, I mean, I can go on, but I think that stress, chaos, upheaval, it shows you the limitations of, of people, of humans, It shows you the good sides and the bad sides. 
that shows you how far people can go. And without chaos, without challenges, you don't get to see that. It's, it, it, there is no opportunity for those things to be revealed to you. And I think that that's why, that's why we like, that's why we find stories that have chaos, chaotic situations and conflict interesting because it's revealing the story then has significance to us rather than just something boring about something that happened that's routine and nothing changed and nothing was realized and so on and so and so when there's chaos things can be revealed to us and therefore that then adds significance the story then becomes significant to us it becomes meaningful and interesting I think that's generally the gist of it, I think. There you go.